What is going on guys? Craig1287 here, I'm bringing you some Battlefield 1 gameplay. Gonna be looking at a very specific tactic that I have been using lately that I have been <laughs> dying to share with it, with uh, with you guys. Uh, but I just keep got just caught up uh, doing VR stuff and just uh, work and a lot of other things going on. So uh, finally I am making this uh, video about the gas tactic that I have been using. Yes, I've got gas. So I'm sure you guys playing Battlefield 1 have gotten well familiarized with the gas in the game. And um, and I kind of just, I never really thought too much of it uh, going against it. Yeah, it's really annoying. Um because you have to put the mask on to, to avoid it, but I figured, why not use that as an advantage? The fact that you know your enemy is going to have to have the uh, gas mask on. So what I've been using is the support class with the gas, the ammo box, or ammo crate, and the limpet charge is my other um, attachment, just so that I can take on vehicles, as well as the uh, light anti-tank grenade, in case I come against vehicles. But I can also use those against infantry. It's really good when you're bunkered into something, enemies are all sitting on the other side of a wall or defensible st uh, structure. You can throw those limpet charges over and uh, hit them with it. Hopefully with the gas they don't see it. It kind of uh, uh, it impedes their vision so they don't see the limpets so they don't run away. So it's a really good combo there. But with the gas you can use it offensively and defensively. Throw it in uh, enemy location when you're trying to, you know, uh, when you're on offense, it pushes them out of it. And on de defense, you can use it to th as almost like a perimeter kind of thing. When you start getting those damage ticks, uh, you know that they're coming from at least one of two directions where you've thrown your two gas. Uh, so that's some um, one of the perks. I hate smoke in this game. I I, I hate it. I, every it, person on my team that uses it, it pisses me off because they throw it on the objective and that it's actually harder to see out of the smoke than it is to see people who are in the smoke, which is not true for the gas, but you can use the gas to somewhat, uh, you know, block some vision. You can use it to, uh, to make it a little difficult to see in where, uh, through the gas, but I like to throw it out as like a defensive perimeter and that way uh, people who typically don't put their gas mask on before going into it. They put it when they start taking damage because they assume it might be a friendly one. Um, and so they'll take that initial hit of damage, then put their gas mask on. So you know that, that they've taken a little bit of damage, which gives you an edge. Uh, you could catch them in the animation of them putting the mask on. And uh, you also kind of now know what direction they're coming from. Like these guys, I, I they couldn't see me. Um, coming around that corner like that, but I was still able to take him out with a pretty good hip fire. So, uh, it's really good offensively, it's really good defensively. Uh, you just want to, you want to pair it with a weapon, which is great with hip fire. You don't want something that you're going to be aiming down sight. Now, having said that, rather than going with the, uh, the BAR trench, it's that 20 round mag, you're going to be missing a lot, even at close range, because you are going to be limiting yourself to hip fire. So uh, I, that's why I've been using this Madsen, that's what you're going to be seeing in all this footage. The Madsen, it's got that 30 round magazine, The yeah, the magazine <laughs> sticks right up in your friggin' face, which does suck, uh, but you just got to get used to it. So it's, it's a pretty accurate gun with decent recoil, even at range. You're, you're not going to be taking out guys as at ranges like w what you would with the BAR telescopic or anything like that, but at close to medium range and sometimes at medium range, uh, you will be able to take guys out by ADSing. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this footage. Expect a ton more uh, footage featuring this gas tactic as support. Um, and if you guys are playing these objective focused games like Rush and Operations, use this and you're going to see your KD and your win loss ratio just skyrocket using this tactic. Hope you guys have enjoyed all of it. Have a good one. Ta-ta.